Hello and thank you for joining us on Air TV. This is English News Broadcast live from the headquarter in Asmara at exactly 10:30 p.m. with me Salim Rahana first the top stars. Two patients diagnosed positive for COVID-19 today. Microcredit and saving program activity assessment in Afabat Sabza. Germany suspends military mission in Mali. And U.S., Indonesia and Australia hold live fire drill. Announcement from the Ministry of Health. Two patients have been diagnosed positive for COVID-19 in tests carried out today at testing station in the central region. On the other hand, two patients who have been receiving medical treatment in hospital in the central region have recovered fully and have been discharged from the facility. The total number of recovered patients has accordingly increased to 9,959, while the number of deaths stands at 103. The total number of confirmed cases in the country to date has increased to 10,136. Ministry of Health, Asmara, 14th August 2022. The Microcredit and Saving Program in Af'abat Sabzon held six months activity assessment meeting. At the meeting, it was reported that the program in the past six months dispersed over 12 million NAFA to beneficiaries, indicating that the program provided the opportunity of microcredit to individuals and groups that fulfill the requirement. Mr. Abdu Ibrahim, head of the program in the Sabzon, said that 12 million NAFA has been dispersed distributed to 1,179 people and has collected about 9 million NAFA loan from customers. Mr. Abdu further noticed that, noted that the program has planned to, dis, to distribute over 14 million NAFA to customers and to collect over 10 million NAFA from beneficiaries. Mr. Tafla Asmarom, head of the program, called on staff members to closely work with customers and provide effective and timely service and customers to return their loan on time so that other be others become beneficiaries of the program. One month vocational training has been organized to 44 youth in in Indagargish, in Indagargish Semi Urban Center at Dukhala Sabzon. According to Mr. Jamal Noor, head of the National Union of Eritrean Youth and Students, in the Sabzon, the training included literature and drama. Mr. Jamal also called on the trainees to apply the training they received in improving their livelihoods. The trainees on their part said that the training has enabled them identify their talents and express it readiness to develop their capacity through practice and apply it in improving their livelihoods. Following a short break, we'll be back with international news. Stay tuned. Germany has suspended most of its operations in Mali after the local military-led government denied flyover rights to a United Nations peacekeeping mission. A spokesman for the German Defense Ministry said at a regular news conference on Friday that the, Mil the Malian government has once again refused to give flyover rights to a flight planned for today for the retention of personnel. In response, Germany had decided to suspend Till further notice, the operation of our reconnaissance force and CH-53 transport flights. Government spokesman Stefan Hebstreit said Germany was prepared in principle to participate in an international peacekeeping mission, but only if it was supported by the Malian government, Defense Minister Christian Lambert received assurance that overflight rights would be restored from her Malian counterpart, said Sadio Camaras as recently as Thursday. 
Mali, with its population about 20 million, has experienced three military coups since 2012 and is considered extremely unstable. Since the most recent coup in May 2021, the country has been led by a military transitional government that is said to maintain close relationship with Russia. Soldiers from the U.S., Indonesia and Australia joined a live fire drill on Friday, part of annual joint combat exercise on Sumatra Island amid growing Chinese maritime activity in the Indo-Pacific region. Total of more than 5,000 personnel from the U.S., Indonesia, Australia, Japan and Singapore are participating in this year's Super Gradu Shield exercise, making them making them the largest since they began in 2009. They expanded drills are seen by China as a threat. Chinese state media have accused the U.S. of building an Indo-Pacific alliance similar to NATO to limit China's growing military and diplomatic influence in the region. The United Kingdom, Canada, France, India, Malaysia, South Korea, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea and East Timor also sent observers to the exercise which began early in this month. The U.S. Indo-Pacific commander Adam John C. Qualino said the 14 nations involved in the training are signaling their stronger ties as China grows increasingly assertive in claiming virtually the entire South China Sea and holds exercise threatening self-ruled Taiwan. We'll continue to help deliver a free and open Indo-Pacific and be ready when we need to respond to any contingency, Aquilino said. Indonesia and China enjoy generally positive ties, but Jakarta has expressed concern about what it sees as Chinese encroachment in its exclusive economic zone in the South China Sea. And now we'll have a quick review of the top, of the top stars. Two patients diagnosed positive for COVID-19 today. Microcredit and saving program activities statement in of Abed Sabzon. Germany suspends military mission in Mali. US, Indonesia and Australia hold live fire drill. That was all with the news for this evening and thank you for being with us.